So today, uh, good afternoon to all. Today, we'll be discussing the last aspect of this uh, block four and six. We'll be covering of the course of yours. It consists of a higher purchase and branch account, and the last one is a computerized account, which one the latest one. In case of higher purchase, you know it is not similar to sell. Okay. Because when goods are uh, sold, the purchaser can make either the full payment one or one time or they defer the payment. When they defer the payment, they pay by monthly, quarterly, yearly, etc. But in case of higher purchase, here buy, the buyer takes the delivery of the goods and promises to pay this number of n number of installment until the payment of the instrument in the installment. Okay, he has to pay the higher charges for using the goods until the payment of the last installment. He is not the owner of the goods, but legally. But if you go by uh, national entry, whatever expenses you make to the vehicle, if you have taken on higher purchase any vehicle or any goods, whatever expenses you make, you have to borne on, borne on your own as if you are the owner of the particular thing, either goods or vehicle. Here two things are uh, there. One is possession is transfer, but ownership is not transfer. This is very important. And higher purchase act is 1972. It tells us that there will be an agreement. The agreement states that the there will be higher purchase price. The date should be mentioned. The number of installments should be mentioned. Both party are there. One is higher purchase and higher sale. In case of sale, when the there is two party buyer and seller. But here, when somebody is selling and somebody is purchasing, the other party pays the higher charges, which is known as the installment plus interest. You have to find the rate of interest. You will find the cash price if you are paying the down payment. Anything you are taking on EMI, you are paying the down payment, then you have to pay the price plus interest every month or every year. So you take the help of annuity table in calculating the number of installment you will pay along with the interest and the number of period the number of years till which you can pay so that the total amount of the product or the vehicle or the goods will be disposed of. The accounting accounting record in the books of the purchaser or the higher purchaser is that and the date of the purchaser is important, down payment and the date at which the installment become due at the end of the year or the end of the month. The interest calculator always at the end. What is the rate of depreciation if it is a vehicle, if it is an asset? What is the rate of interest? Which method of depreciation is followed? If there is change in method of depreciation from the last year to this year? What is the mode of payment of installment, cash or credit? And, and which debt it will be closed? The accounting uh, entries when the asset is recorded in cash price is that when the asset is purchased on hard purchase, then asset account debited to hard purchase. For making the down payment, hard vendor account debited to bank. And the fast installment become due, then interest account debited to hard vendor. When the hard, when the fast installment is paid, then the hard vendor account debited to bank. For charging depreciation, it is the common entry depreciation account debited to asset. In case of transfer of interest or depreciation at the end of the financial year or the end of the month, then PL account debited to interest to depreciation. If asset is recorded at cash page actually paid, what is the general entry? Remember this, when the asset is purchased, no entry. When the down payment is paid, asset account debited to bank. When the installment becomes due, asset account debited, installment account, uh, interest account debited to higher vendor. 
when inst installment is paid, higher vendor account debited to bank. When depreciation is charged, depreciation account debited to asset. When interest and PL account are closed, then PL account debited to interest and depreciation. Same thing. That is in the books of higher purchaser. When accounting records in the books of vendor, there is sale of goods under higher purchase, then a higher purchase account debited to sell. On receiving cash price as a down payment, the bank account debited to higher purchaser. If the installment is become due, then higher purchaser account debited to interest. For getting payment of the due installment, then bank account debited to higher purchaser. There are some default and reposition. If the party does not pay, then he is known as a default. A default is the failure to pay or to meet the obligation on the due debt. There is a legal position of both higher purchaser and higher vendor. The higher, sell, higher seller is known as a higher vendor. As for the Higher Purchase Act 1972. Reposition means the same position which is given to the person. If it is unable to pay, again you recover the position from that person. Because the right of higher vendor is to, he can terminate the agreement. Okay. And there is some restriction to seize of goods by the owner and right to repossess. The position which has been transferred by the higher purchaser to the higher vendor you now can be taken back if it is unable to pay. If there is a complete deposition, then you have to close the account of the purchaser, goods repossessed, account debited to higher purchaser for repair. Another purpose, goods repossessed, account debited to cash. For resale of goods repossessed, cash account debited to good repossessed. Any balance left, then go repossessed, account debited to PL account. In case higher purchaser for closing, higher vendor account debited to asset. And for closing the asset account, PL account debited to asset account. This is the generality. This generality should be important. In case of partial reposition, means something has been paid and other has not been paid, which is not been paid, that amount, that amount and that much value of thing will be repossessed. Suppose after 1 lakh, suppose 50,000 has been paid and 80,000 80, has been paid and 20,000 has not been paid. So 20,000 value of that goods which has been given to them should be repossessed. There is a difference between, always the question arises, and the very important question, what is the difference between higher purchase and installment system? See, higher purchase uh, is an agreement of hiring. An installment, you know, it is an agreement of sell. Higher purchase, the goods can be repossessed, but in installment, you cannot repossess. In case of higher purchase, <coughs> the buyer gets a reposition of goods by signing the contract. But in case of installment, the buyer gets position of the goods by signing of the contract. The accounting until in case of installment is that in case of books of buyer, an asset is purchased, asset account debited, interest expense account debited to vendor. And cash payment is given as down payment, then vendor account debited to bank. Or interest due at the end of the installment, interest account debited to interest assessment. A payment of ins installment, vendor account debited to bank. For depreciation at the end of the year, depreciation account debited to asset. For transfer of depreciation and interest to PL, the PL account debited to interest and depreciation. There should be some basic record for treatment of small goods or goods of small value. Sold on higher purchase. The accounting statement is very important for the vendor. Very, very important for the vendor, not the buyer. Small goods like fridge, TV, automobiles, etc. Because the consumer with this uh, limited type of resources are interested in uh, buying this under the scheme, different scheme, it has been there. Some relevant items may be the cost price of goods. Cash received, hard purchase, debtor is there, hard purchase, stock is there. The debtor account here, it is known as hard purchase, debtor. The stock account here, it is known as hard purchase, stock. How to determine profit? 
we opened a trading profit loss account. Here also the trading account is open. That is known as hard purchase trading account. Similar treatment. We put the opening stop. We put the um, purchase. Okay. On the left hand side, you only put opening stock, so higher purchase stock. You put higher purchase debtor. You put goods sold on higher purchase. You you can deduct and put there the stock reserve. You put the direct expenses. On the credit side, you can put by cash. On the credit side, you can put by goods repurchased. On the credit side, you can put the closing stock of higher purchase stock. You can credit side, you can put the closing stock of higher purchase debtor. And also, you could put the reserve of the opening stock on the credit side and also the reserve of the goods sold on hard purchase on the credit side then you will get the profit treatment of goods repurchase is very very uh, important because when the hard purchase becomes defaulter in payment of the installment then the vendor may repurchase the goods the amount of the installment unpaid or the due in respect of that goods should be on the credit side the higher purchase trading account but one thing is that the difficulty arises when the market value of the repurchase goods or the sell value of the repurchase goods is not available in that case you have to adjust the loading regarding unpaid installment which is due so that the true value will be equal to the proportionate cost Sometimes there is a missing figure. For the missing figure, you prepare the memorandum accounts. Okay. Or you, uh, you can take the, uh, the missing figure, can you work out by preparing hard purchase trading account? The memorandum stock account is important. The memorandum hard purchase stock account is important. And memorandum hard purchase debtors account is important for finding out the missing stock along with hard purchase trading account. The other system for stock and debtors account is that the generality is very important. For goods sold on hard purchase, you write hard repurchase, hard repurchase account debited to goods sold on hard purchase. The total installment due during the year, you put hard purchase debtor account debited to hard purchase stock. For cash received, cash account debited to hard purchase debtor. If goods repurchase, the unpaid installment is there, then good repurchase account debited to higher purchase stock. For loading on goods sold on HP, then goods sold on HP account debited. HP means hard purchase to higher purchase adjustment account. For loading on opening higher purchase stock, stock reserve account debited to higher purchase adjustment account. For loading on closing HP stock, higher purchase adjustment account debited to stock reserve. For loss and goods repossessed, hard purchase adjustment account debited to goods repossessed. For expenses and hard purchase business, hard purchase adjustment account debited to expense account. And you have to transfer to the PL, PL account debited to hard purchase adjustment. And you have to close the goods sold or hard purchase account. That is goods sold or hard purchase account debited to trading stock. Then arises. The concept of branch account. This was all about her purchase. When do we start a branch account? When you have a lot of business opportunity. When you have a lot of money at stake. When there is a growth and diversification of the business. When the demand is there in the public. So you want to supply more. Then the branch business is needed to do one minute. So when the branch account concept arises, the concept of branch account is to find out the total number of branches that is been there in throughout the particular area it tells us about decentralized concept of managing the business the profit of each branch is ascertained and calculated and branch account is prepared 
separately by the branch and the net profit loss account of the branch is also identified so that we can calculate each and every branch profit loss account with regard to the total total branch account. So that's why the important and concept of branches is very important. Suppose you have head office like Nalco has a head office in Bhumaneswar. And the branches, it has branches all over Odisha and all over India and abroad also. So each branch has to prepare the branch account. Because we, we will find out branch-wise maintenance of accounts. Okay, some branch may be having full system of accounting, some may be not having full system of accounting. Like Nalco has branches outside in India, that may be treated as a foreign branch. Okay. The head office, every branch should report to the head office. There may be some inland branch, means branches inside India, having dependent branch, having non-dependent branch. And the accounts for branches, there are three systems. One is debtor system, another is final account system, another is stock and debtor system. In the case of debtor system, there are also two uh, uh, subheadings are there. One is cost price and other is selling price or inverse price. Other name of inverse price here is the selling price which was known before. The other name of selling price is here inverse price. Why it is known as inverse price? Cost price plus loading is known as the inverse price. What is the general entry in case of cost price? For goods sent to branch, branch account debited to goods sent to branch account. For return of goods to head office, then goods set to branch account debited to branch account. For amount sent to branch for expenses, the branch account debited to cash if it is in check for branch account debited to bank. For amount received from branch, bank account debited to branch account. For closing goods sent to branch account, goods sent to branch account debited to purchase or trading. For closing balance of asset at the branch, branch asset, asset account debited to branch. Opposite is the other liability. Branch account debited to branch liability. For transferring the profit, PL account debited to uh, general uh, branch, uh, general sorry, uh, branch account debited to general PL. If there is a loss, that is opposite of the entry. Similarly, the general entry in case of invoice price or the cost plus loading. Only the difference is that there is a three difference entry will be there. One is for adjustment of loading in opening stock. Because this cost plus plus loading, here the loading, you know, other sector that we called it a profit, here it is known as a loading. Okay, cost plus profit is called selling price, here the cost price plus loading is called inverse price. Adjustment of holding, okay, or loading, that is stock reserve account debited to branch, in case of opening stock, in case of closing stock, opposite of that. In case of goods sent to branch, it is branch account debited to goods sent to branch for loading only. Because so what is the percentage in getting that loading? The final account system is prepared like a memorandum of uh, trading and profit loss account. On the debit side, you can put the opening stock, the goods sent to branch, two wages. That is on trading part. Okay, on the right side, on the, on the credit side, you can put sales, credit, and cash sales, return, goods sent to uh, as a head office by closing stock. Make the total of the credit, deduct the total of the debit. This is like on the debit side, it is direct income, on the credit side, it is indirect income. <coughs> on the debit side, you will get two gross profit. Put that gross profit by buy gross profit brought down on the credit side. Put any miscellaneous income on the credit side. Make the total and make other entries put in the debit side, like bad debt, allowance, rent, salary, other expenses, and profit transfer to jail account. The stock and debtor system is a very, very important system. It is a lengthy system. Why lengthy? Because it is branch stock account. Okay. It has branch debtor account. Branch stock account is a real account. Branch debtor account is a personal account. Branch expense account is a nominal account. Branch cash account is a real account. Branch fixed asset account is a real account. Goods sent to branch account is a nominal account. Branch adjustment account it is like a trading account. And branch pay account, which is also like a trading account. What are the general entries? When goods are sent to branch at inverse price, then branch stock account debited to goods sent to branch. 
and goods are returned by branch to head office then goods sent to branch to branch stock account and sales are made by branch for cash sell cash account debit to branch stock for credit sell branch debtor account debit to branch stock cash is received by debtor then cash account debit to branch debtor for sales return it is branch stock account debit to branch debtor a discount allowed bad debt branch expense account debit to branch debtor if there is a shortage of stock then a branch adjustment account debited branch bill account debited to branch stock this generally you have to remember because because my dear student the general entry also come the question if you don't know the general entry then also unable to do the practical if the branch expenses paid in cash the expenses account debited to cash we proved but here branch expense account debited to cash for closing the branch expense account branch bill to branch expense for adjustment of loading on opening stock stock reserve to branch adjustment for adjustment of loading on closing stock opposite adjustment of goods and loading opposite of goods sent to branch for gross profit adjustment branch adjustment to branch pl and for net profit it is <coughs> branch adjustment to general pl for closing the goods sent to branch then goods sent to branch account debited to trading this is the three important terminology of branch then we will go to branch as an independent system the branch maintain complete set of book on double entry the branch opens a head office account in his books the head office there open a branch account in their book it is a personal account the head office also maintain a branch account in the books for all transaction and at the end of the financial year the branch prepare trial balance and final account is sent to head office as soon as the head office receive the trial balance from branch it compares with the head office uh, accounts making a reconciliation of the head office accounts and the branch account is a very very uh, must step the three important uh, five important transaction is there one is goods in transit the goods which are sent but have not reached the head office has sent goods but not not reached the branch another is cash in transit the head office has sent but but have not been received by the branch <coughs> the head office has credited the sorry has debited but not been credited with the branch office depreciation also one of the thing which are maintained head office uh, some depreciation are charged by head office but not charged by the branch office so there may be some misappropriation or there may be some non reconciliation of accounts on the board inter branch transaction one branch is sending goods to another branch another branch is receiving goods and also sending goods to another branch in case of goods in transit in uh, head office sends then in goods in transit account debit to branch in case of cash in transit then head office sends cash in transit account debit to branch so this entries should be remember so that you can identify and can do the work generate in case of head office or expenses chargeable to branch then branch account debited to expenses maybe expenses of salary etc and the branch will, uh, branch will pass an entry like head office expense account debited to head office depreciation of fixed asset depreciation account debited to head office inter branch transaction like receiving branch account debited to sending branch then head office account debited to goods sent to head office then goods from head office account debited to head office account then then may be incorporation of the trial balance in head office books like branch trading account debit to branch if it is on the debit side of trading account if it is on the credit side of trading account then branch account debit to branch trading for branch cross profit it is branch trading account debit to branch pl for item on the debit side of pl account then branch pl account debit to branch opposite is the entry for the credit side of pl account for branch net profit branch pl account debit to general pl for branch asset branch asset account debit to branch for branch liability opposite of that there is an abridged incorporation very very important question incorporation of business or started can be done with the help of known as abridged incorporation what is this abridged incorporation because under this method you have to prepare the memorandum branch trading and profit loss account if there is a net profit or net loss incorporation of all branch balances in head office book 
जितना भी ब्रांचेस है सबको बैलेंस करके उसको जो टोटलिंग होगा उसको बोलते हैं एवरेज इनकॉर्पोरेशन अगर प्रॉफिट होगा नेट प्रॉफिट तो पीएल अकाउंट डेबिट हेड ऑफिस अगर लॉस होगा हेड ऑफिस अकाउंट डेबिट टू पीएल एसेट भी वही है हेड ऑफिस टू एसेट लायबिलिटी ऑपोजिट लायबिलिटी टू हेड हेड ऑफिस दिस इज एंट्री इज वेरी इजी टू रिमेंबर इफ यू रिमेंबर वन यू कैन रिमेंबर द अदर आल्सो तो दीस आर ऑल द एंट्री सिस्टम फॉर ब्रांच अकाउंट्स The maintenance of branch account is very important, so that you can identify and find out which branch is succeeding more and which branch uh, branch is not succeeding more. The maintenance of branch accounts, branch wise and area wise. Okay, suppose you have a branch in Baleshwar, you have a branch in Sambalpur, you have a branch in um, Katta, you have a branch in Bhubaneswar. So you have to maintain the branch like that. Suppose in Bhubaneswar also you have branches like bank. Bank have a huge number of branches. In Bhubaneswar, ICIC Bank suppose they have ten uh, ICIC Bank branches, so they have to put ICIC Bank, Sai Nagar, ICIC Bank, Manchester, ICIC Bank, Archibald um, are like this. The name of the branch also should be identified according to the places there. Then comes the computer's account. Before manually we are maintaining accounts. Now, at the time of internet, the time of invention, time of innovation, time of computerized system. So now. Tally has added a coming to account. SPS has coming to account. The different software has coming to account for ment for maintaining this voucher entry. For ment SAP is also there for creating some entry and preparing the report online. Okay. <clears throat> you know the accounting system is a collection of different process, procedure, and control for a collection, recording, classifying, summarizing the financial transaction, the financial data for interpretation, analysis, and for taking decision. manual and computer is you dig manual it is very slow and computer is very fast and you manual you have to do manually by posting it it will take a lot of time but computer it will do automatically you have to collect all information manually but in the computer it will automatically produce the total balance if you put fit the ledger balances in case of manual the adjustment entry journal entry posting ledger will be done manually one after another But in case of computer, the software will take and do automatically if there is an adjustment entry. Okay, more accuracy will be there in case of computerized and data will be assessed properly, easy and flexible and reliable source with adequate security and cost effectiveness. Regarding the software, you have to rely on the computer and also there should be proper check on the fraud. If there is a human error in computer, then the computer will also take that same. Thing which has been uh, given as an input. If there is a mistake in fitting, then the computer cannot do anything. Because before that, you have to know the training. You have to know the, how to work on the software. Okay. <coughs> so while using the software, computer is accounting software. That uh, the size of the organization, it is small organization or a big organization, manufacturing organization. What is the type of work needed? Daily needed or once in a month needed? How to make the data uh, to remain safe? How to classify data? What are the features of the company? Okay, whether their online payment is needed, payroll is needed, bank balance is needed or not, expenses and income reporting is needed, and uh, what is the cost cost price of the software? Okay, that is uh, the accounting software. I will tell Delhi ERP nine is there for maintaining accounting stock and payroll. Profit book is there, small enterprise. Okay, a mark is there, M A R G mark. There is there also small and medium enterprises. Web is there, is one hundred percent free, very popular software in accounting community. Zero is there, zero. Or there is a for small business, online bookkeeping, and a reach. A reach is an accounting software. It is used for all business organization and business owner is to track every aspect of the business through reach. Regarding the Tally ERP nine, there may be some golden edition, silver edition, single user edition, double user edition. Okay. So the component may of Tally bar, you know, the close button is there. How to start a Tally? How to create a company? How to rename a company? How to put the date? How to put the financial year? What is the information panel? All this you have to take into account.
company details, how to make a proper security control, what is the currency, how currency will be reflected, how to alter the date. This all you have to find in Delhi. Some features need to be configured. That also you can do by clicking the future, the accounting features also. How to find out the profit, how much the cost of a product. Okay. How to find out the inventory, that is the cost of raw material, cost of working progress, and cost of finished goods. There are some statutory and taxation features, how to adopt that and how to find it by pressing F3 or F or only S. Some configuration are also there, which helps to modify the futures you look by putting F12. Configuration means F12. How to exit from tally? How to close the all screen? In order to exit from the tally, you have to close all the screen. On the screen, sir, closed, then you can go to the get to your tally and press escape on keyboard. Then you can quit. Oh, yes. F11 feature is there. Fn is F11. Okay. There are some features. If you press control plus key, there is control center. If you press Alt plus key, that is keyboard. So, marine name of a company or formation of a company, uh, putting the uh, putting inserting the name of the company, inserting the name of the voucher, inserting the name of the item, particulars and details is to be done first. Under which head you want to create the heading should be created also. The name of the company, what is the address, name, the country name, uh, the state name. Contact detail, email ID, phone number, which is the financial year starting, which is the financial ending, how to maintain accounts. Okay. Ledger, you have to create. You know, the ledger is like a T SEP account. Okay. Purchase ledger, purchase account would be like purchase ledger. Sales account would be sales ledger. Different groups also you can create. Under bank group, you can classify all the accounts. You can create a primary group, you can create subgroup, you can create uh, the groups of balance sheet, you can group groups related to PL, you can create groups related to uh, cash book. There may be single ledger creation, there may be multiple ledger creation. You can create single ledger creation for, so for example, S limited. Okay, S limited means you uh, so investing somebody, you can create the ledger under the group known as capital. You can create a ledger group known as building under the group known as fixture set. Multiple ledger creation is that uh, you, you have to create a ledger of furniture, name furniture, and the group will be fixture set, and the amount will be there, more than two. You can alter also. You can also alter also. You can display the ledger also. You can go to the accounts info in masters in get your tally. Suppose you want to change the name of building account to land and building. So you go to accounts ledger in get masters of get your tally. Click the ledger, single click ledger account, alter them, then select the building account from list of ledger, change the building account to land and building, press Y or accept yes. In case of deleting ledger, you go to uh, ledger, go to accounts info and master in get your tally. Click ledger and uh, click ledger, uh, single ledger, alter, click building account from list of ledger, press alt plus delete and press yes or accept yes. In case of group creation, go to group and that same in accounts information, get to tally, click groups, type create, uh, type, uh, creditor, name them, put that under Sunday creditor, okay, then accept that. There may be inventory, inventory master creation. What is this inventory master creation? Inventory is other number inventory stock. It has stock item, stock group, stock category. What is the unit of measurement and what is the purpose of go down and lockdown? So the purpose of go down, go down and location. Suppose you have serial number one, stock group, you have bulk. Stock item, you have CLF A6 volt. You have CFL 8 words, if LED 6 words, if LED 8 words. The price of CFL 6 words is 90, suppose. And the price of 8 words uh, is 1190. 
LED 6 watt is 1190, LED 8 watt is 150. And the quantity is CFL 6 watt is 30, CFL 8 watt is 195, LED 6 watt is 50, LED 8 watt is 40. The go down location is someone is first is Delhi East, Delhi second is Delhi West, third is Delhi North, fourth is Delhi Central. How to create stock group? You create the group, go to inventory information, click stock group. Okay, type the name of the bolt, select the, under which category it will go. Same in the, same in the creation of uh, creating go down, creating unit of measurement, creating stock item. Same is the case. The voucher entries and invoicing. Voucher, you know, any document or any bill, you know, as a voucher. There may be contra voucher. We remember the name of the um, key of the contra voucher, that's F4. Payment voucher, that is F5. Receipt voucher, F6. Journal voucher, F7. Sell voucher. Credit note voucher is control plus F8. Purchase voucher is F9. Debit note voucher is control plus F9. Reversing journal voucher F10. And memo voucher is control plus F10. There may be also post dated voucher. How to create the voucher, how to alter this voucher, how to delete this, and how to display this. The screen of voucher entry tells us about the voucher name, the voucher number, the day, and the date. Voucher entry, journal entry be there, maybe be a debit or credit. Put that after balance, after recording the entry, and it will display the voucher along with the narration. In case of contra voucher F4, Suppose the journal entry is bank account debited to cash. Okay. The contra voucher used to record transaction of fund transfer from bank to cash account or to cash to bank account or bank to bank account. Three types cash to bank, bank to cash, or bank to bank. In case of payment voucher F5, it used to record transaction of all payment made through bank or for cash. That is, suppose sundry cutter account debited to bank. Okay. Sundry cutter account debited to bank. In case of receipt voucher, it is used to record transaction of all receipt of cash or receipt for bank. That is, bank account debited to sundry debtors. In case of journal voucher, it is used to record transaction that is F7, which does not fit in any of the other voucher. Example, uh, suppose indirect expense account debited to cash. Indirect expense means it may be in form of printing stationery, other expenses. Sell voucher invoice. It is used to record transaction of goods sold on cash or credit. Candidator account debited to sell account. Credit on voucher control plus F8. It is used to record the transaction of selling goods which are returned back by buyer. Sales account debited to debtor. In place of debtor, you can write the name of the shop name also. Suppose X Electrical Limited. You can put that also. In case of purchase voucher invoice, that is F9. It is used to record transaction of goods bought on cash or credit basis. Purchase account debited to, suppose, Jane Electricals. General article is the creditor. Okay. In case of debit note voucher, control plus F9, it is used to record transaction of purchase goods returned back to seller or to record price transaction changes. That is, sundry creditor account debit to purchase account, opposite of that, or Gen enterprises account debit to purchase account, opposite of the purchase journal. Reversing journal voucher F10, it is used to re get reverse after the specified date by the user. They're effective only till that date. And effectively only used when they're included in report. Memo voucher is used, that is control plus F10. It's not an accounting voucher, but doesn't affect the books of account. 
that enter store in a separate memo register. Post dated voucher is used for entering transaction which occur frequently on a regular basis. Example is installment payment for vehicle on a hard purchase. For altering, deleting, and displaying voucher, to view voucher, you just go to Gateway of Tally and display and click the day book. To alter in general entry recorded in voucher, press the specific entry and the voucher screen will appear. Then you can enter the amount and type debit and credit also. Creating the account voucher, Tally will allow you to create and record the transaction. You can, you can record and sell purchase transaction also in case of invoice. It will also record to make transaction in invoice in either in account invoice or in item invoice. What is account invoice? Account invoice is to raise invoice for service rendered. Item invoice is to read invoice with item details. To enable the invoice, you go to F11. The discount and transaction also will be recorded. So this, the contract voucher, payment voucher, receipt voucher, sale voucher, credit note voucher, debit note voucher is very, very important short question. <clears throat> Coming to the last part, preparation of report. Which report are to be prepared? Number one, financial statement, like balance sheet, PL account, trial balance, this one analysis and books and register like daybook, purchase and sales register, cash and bank balance. Along with different statistics in the statement of accounts. Tally will help to find out or to view different reports prepared, taking the financial health of the performance of the business, like balance sheet, PL, and stock summary, trial balance, and daybook. Financial statements of the financial health of the business summarize the business transaction. For each and every stakeholder, it may include basically financial state, uh, balance sheet, PL account, and cash flow statement. The same balance sheet which you prepare manually, they will be prepared prepare in the tally. Asset is called liability plus capital. You go to the gateway of tally under report. You go for a separate menu for final account statement, then find out the configuration of the final account, which will tell us about the balance sheet. PL account or income expenditure account, other name of PL account is income expenditure account. It is a financial statement which shows the revenue cost and expenses for a specific period. It gets updated automatically after each transaction and display information based on primary group. You can view PL account and get your tally on the reports. Same procedure for balance sheet like your what you go to PL account. Trial balance of the same procedure. You know, trial balance is a book. Which contains the total of total of debit balance and total of credit balance. The objective of trial balance is to ensure arithmetical accuracy of books of account. The total of debit account should always, always be equal. The trial balance is usually prepared at the end of the financial year. If there is any discrepancy in trial balance, then a suspended account will arise. A suspended account is arrived or created. Two. Next. Management of any mismanagement of the balance. The balance is not telling the suspended account arises. We have to put some amount in this account so that we can make the tally. Ratio analysis, you know, it is a form of financial statement. We show different ratio in from short term to solvency ratio, debt management ratio, profitability ratio, liquidity ratio, solvency ratio. Okay. To evaluate the business on various aspects. Dividend ratio. The day book is there for display to all the transactions recorded for voucher, the journal entry. Okay. Every day, you can see in F2, date on vertical bottom panel or place F2 from keyboard. You can see the day book. Purchase and sell register are there. A purchase and sell register, you can also find out the day to the transaction, the day to the purchase, the day to the sales. There are some combination used for navigation window key, page up and page down. Okay, it will display the voucher entry 
um, next voucher entry will be paged down, the previous will be paged up. Control B, you know, you can find out the different groups, ledger, cost center, budget, voucher, account information. Control U, you can find out the stock group, category, stock item, go down, voucher. F1 is to select a company. F2 is to change the menu period. This you have to remember. F3 to select the company again. F4 to select a contra voucher. F5 to select a payment voucher. Already this I have discussed. F10 select a memorandum voucher. F11 to select the function and feature scheme. F12 to go for configuration. Alt plus 2 to duplicate a voucher. Alt plus A to add a voucher. Alt plus C to create a master of a voucher screen. Alt plus D to delete a voucher. Alt plus E to export the uh, report. Alt plus I to insert a voucher. Alt plus P to print the voucher or uh, report. Alt plus X to cancel a voucher. Alt plus R to register tally. Control plus G to select the group. Control plus I to select the unit. Control plus O to select a go down. So these are all the soft key which you needed to remember and the purpose so that you can use that and also in examination the short question in barrages you can also give the answer. The restoration and backup of data is also important. You know backup is a process of creating another copy of the same document. So to protect the data at different locations for threat of any loss of data or any corruption of data. It can be done daily, weekly, monthly. Okay, depending on the business needs and requirement, Tally will help to you to do manually also automatically. If you want to do automatically enable auto back as yes in company in founder alter, then it will be done automatically. Restoring data also will help you to restore data taken earlier. It will help manually or automatically to restore the automatically go to company info and go restore company on disk. We will happen on two sections that the backup and auto field. The destination will specify where data has been stored in source field where data backup is stored. Statistic will help to know the total master and voucher created for business transaction. To view the statistic, go to get you of tele, then display, and then statement of accounts. Statement of account display the receivable, the payable of the business or farm. They are very important part of working capital, you know. The working capital is the difference between current asset and current liability. The gross working capital is only current asset. The difference between current asset and current liability is the net working capital. They help in <coughs> knowing about the financial health as well as the short term liquidity, profitability, solvency, position of the business. To get any outstanding, to have find out outstanding, to understand the outstanding, you have to go to the gateway of tele, go to display option, see the statement of account. Within the outstanding, you will find the receivable and the payable in ledger and also in group. There is also the importance of cash book. <coughs> there is also importance of bank balance, bank uh, bank book also. <coughs> cash book, you know, it record cash sell, cash purchase, and cash transaction of the business concern. So while recording the cash transaction or while recording the bank transaction, if there is a bank transaction means there is an involvement of check. Okay. So while recording this cash transaction or recording this bank transaction or bank book or cash book, it will, it will display balance measurement transaction that will affect the cash and bank balance which are recorded. To go on tele to cash and bank books under accounts books under display on get your tele. If you press enter on cash, you will view the monthly ledger summary. Okay. 
there are some short key shortcut key which is essential essential to remember and then there may be shortcut question for you and uh, you can remember that control plus alt plus r what is that you can rewrite data for a company control plus s it will allow you to enter oh, sorry it will allow you to alter stock for master but that where you can find that you can find that at stock voucher or go down voucher report Alter plus R, what is the objective? To register in Delhi. Where you will find? At license menu in Delhi, you can find that. The voucher key again I am telling F5 is to select the payment, uh, payment voucher where you will find an accounting or inventory voucher creation and alteration screen. F6, uh, what is that function? To select the receipt voucher, where you will find an accounting inventory voucher, place on alteration screen. F7, to select a voucher journal, where you will find an accounting inventory voucher, place on alteration screen. F8, to select the sales voucher, where you will find an accounting vendor, uh, inventory uh, voucher, place on alteration scheme. F8 or control plus F8, what is the function? To select a credit note voucher, where you will find at accounting inventory voucher creation and alteration screen F9 to select the purchase where you will find at accounting inventory voucher creation and alteration screen if it is control plus F9 then it is debit note voucher same at accounting inventory voucher creation and alteration screen you will find F10 to select the memorandum voucher you will find at accounting inventory creation and alteration screen this is all related to practical aspect of telling so it's very very important for you to uh, join the tally course and practice this course so that you can understand f11 to select a function and feature screen it will find almost all screen in tally f12 to select the configuration also it will almost seen on all screen of tally this is all about your class for today any doubt you can tell any doubt in accounts The 10 minutes left, we'll discuss that out if you have. So this is accounting and preparation of report, apart from the manual report. It is a practical, more practical aspect of maintaining accounts and tally. If, while understanding this tally, you can download the tally from Google, a free software. Okay, and you can see the demo version. And the practical aspect of this all entry with the feature F11, F12, F4, F5, F6, F7, F8, F9, and you can find out. And it uh, the YouTube you can also get the video how to create a company in Delhi. The same thing which is given in theory also you have video how to create a company, how to delete a company, how to rename a company, how to give the financial year. Everything is there. Sometimes I am giving example of higher purchase. You will see in the back side of the auto, it is written as HP. Or sometimes it is written as hypothecated. Indian, Indian uh, bank means it is mortgaged. So it has been taken, loan has been taken, and this vehicle has been mortgaged with the bank. HP to, HP to Bank of India means the vehicle has been purchased. With from loan from Bank of India and it is the payment is going on from by monthly monthly the payment is going on until the payment of the last installment after the payment of the last installment then after the payment of the last installment then you can find out that you are the owner of the vehicle you are the owner of the product you are the owner of the services or of the organization till the payment of that you are not legally Donor. Suppose you are purchasing a vehicle on higher purchase basis, you are paying, suppose it is uh, 90,000, you are paying, you are purchasing the whole in cash 90,000, then you can get without any interest. Suppose you are purchasing the 90,000 vehicle, then you have to, 15 to 20,000, it will be interest. So, 1 well, lakh 10,000 will be total value. Suppose you are paying 20,000 and 90,000, you have to pay in installment. Every month, you have to pay installment with interest. Okay. 
So ninety thousand. Suppose you pay in a year. Suppose you pay fifteen uh, thousand. Okay, that will take six years. Okay. Suppose to in a in a month you paid two thousand. It will be twenty four thousand. So you divide that like that. So in a year if you pay fifteen thousand. Okay. Fifteen thousand means eight eighteen hundred. I think per month. It will be fifteen thousand. So as per that convenience of yours in paying capacity of the yours, you calculate that. If it is if it is eighteen hundred, eighteen hundred into twelve, it is coming as twenty one thousand six hundred. It is paying fifteen thousand per year. You divide that, it is coming twelve hundred fifty per month. Okay, if you are paying twelve hundred fifty per month, very less amount. Then in a year it is fifteen thousand. So within six year. We have to pay ninety thousand. So the, after six year, you are you are becoming the legalized owner of the vehicle, and you uh, in the six year you are paying the interest also. Okay. So that amount will be I think fifteen to twenty thousand more if you pay you take in hire purchase because if you don't you don't have money to take. Okay. So that's the benefit of the hire purchase, but that's also the demerit of hire purchase. If any doubt, you can ask. We have four or five minutes left. So we can leave the class if you don't have any uh, doubt. This is the um, end of this account. So thank you, thank you, everybody.